everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm in the canning garage, but this video has nothing to do with canning. This video has nothing to do with homesteading. This video has nothing to do with saving money. This video has to do with getting back my health. I bet you're all wondering what I'm talking about. Well, I've always had a desire to live to be 100 years old. I've always said that. But I realized in life, if I want to be that, to that old age, there's some things I got to do. Being 50 years old is the best year of my life. But in the last 365 days, my body's went through a lot of changes. And one of those changes are weight gain. I wasn't going to put this video out. I wasn't even going to videotape this because, to be quite honest with you, it's kind of a hassle to get a camera out and to just document all of the things I'm doing today. But I'm going to share with you today that maybe I can give some inspiration to somebody else. I feel amazing. My blood pressure is great. My sugar levels are great. But I am overweight. And I decided I'm going to take back my health. What does that mean? I don't know what it means. I ain't making no promises. So many times when you have people on channels, they say they're going to lose 100 pounds in six months or they're going to lose 50 pounds. I'm not giving any of that challenge. I'm not saying any of that. I'm only going to get myself back into better shape than what I was. And I'm going to share with you why I'm out here. I'm going to share with you what I'm doing. In this video, I'm going to be out of breath because I am going to be doing a lot of heavy work. It's going to be a lot of work, but I have in my mind what I want to do today, and you're going to follow along with me. So let's get started in today's very unique and very challenging video. I don't have hardly any room in here anymore. My canning garage is half of the garage, the other half of the garage is the mower and all that. But you know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. And I'm bringing a treadmill in here, into the canning garage, into the part of it. But that means I gotta organize everything, I gotta make more room. In fact, I gotta make room when there isn't any room. But you know what? So many times we make excuses to ourselves. We say, well, I can't do this or I can't do that. But you know what? With there's a will, there's a way, and if you want it bad enough, you can make it happen. I want it bad enough, and I'm going to make it happen. And you're going to see what I'm going to do. So this area over here is going to be all emptied out, and I'm going to put my treadmill right here. A lot of times in my videos, when I'm working on my canning stuff, you're not going to see the treadmill, but I do want it right here because it's easy access to my electric. So that means i got to move everything out of the way try to find out what I'm going to do. Now, if you want to know about the treadmill, it's really old, and I'm praying that it still works, but it's buried deep in a mound of junk. How many of you are like me? You get all excited, and you get some exercise equipment, and then where does it run? Where does it end up? My brother gave me this a long time ago. It doesn't work very good, but it does work, and it's better than having nothing. But slat. But sadly, it got thrown with a bunch of junk, and wait till you see what i got to do to dig it out. <laughs> Please forgive me the way I look. I'm not here about putting makeup on and looking fancy. I'm here about getting something done and getting it done so I can get started on getting my health back to where I want it to be. All right, so there's where everything is. I gotta take it off the treadmill, and then I gotta bring the treadmill out, and then we're gonna put it in its new home. But look at all the stuff that's on top of that. So I gotta get it started, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, I dug it out from under there. It's not very pretty, people, but I'm hoping it does the job. This is what it looks like. There you go, my friends. I just hope it runs. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. And we'll see if it runs. Oh boy. Well, everyone, I got it in. Oh, this is so much work. This is more work than using the treadmill. But there's the treadmill. It does work great. I'm going to wash it down now, clean it up, organize all of my shelves, get things looking better. Wow, this was more of a job than I ever thought it would be. 
Uh, my canning garage is a little bit of a mess now. Everything is on the table, but I'm going to go through all of that, clean it up. But here you go, everyone. That's what it looks like. Now, I understand there's going to be a lot of people who mean well, but I'm asking you, I don't need advice. I don't need what to eat, not what to eat, do this and do that. I'm just asking you guys to just come along with me as I try to get more in shape. I'm going to delete comments if any of them are not very kind. I'm going to de delete comments if they're fussing about me not eating this or me eating that or doing this or doing that. I am a healthy 50-year-old woman with good blood pressure and everything else except for I am overweight and so I am going to use the treadmill to get my heart back into shape and to get better in shape for my life and that's the only reason if I don't lose weight and I, it turns more into muscle great most likely it will I've done this before and I've lost weight but losing weight is not my goal my goal is to be healthier heart wise and if I do lose weight that is great it doesn't mean I'm going to eat more. I'm not going to eat any more. And I'm going to cut back on some of the foods that I eat. But it is about me just getting more in shape. I thank you guys for understanding. This is not a weight loss channel or anything like that. I'm just going to share with you my journey as far as getting myself back into shape. Now let me go ahead and clean up some more stuff. While it may look like a lot of stuff, everything in here is so useful. I need everything in here for canning and all the food preparations that I do. This is years of stuff. 99% of this stuff was given to me, outcast, things that people didn't want. I didn't spend for anything in here. It's just whenever people had stuff they were going to throw away, they asked me. And I said, yes, I'll take it. So everything in here is just stuff that was going to be thrown away and I make it into something that I can use. I'm really happy how everything turned out. So I'm going to finish doing some cleaning up here and then I'll show you at the very end of this video what it looks like. I know that it's one of these rooms where it's a little bit of everything but if you can organize it you can kind of create a little bit of some organization even though it is a mess but it's an organized mess <laughs> if that made any sense to you does this mean for all of you well you know once in a while I'm gonna share a video with me doing some exercises and me doing some things on the treadmill I think that will help motivate you even though you don't have a treadmill or you know if you can't exercise at least I'm hoping that it will give you a little motivation to watch me do it and just to know that I'm taking great courage in sharing this part of my life with all of you I've shared everything about my life and I thought why not share with you a little bit of this journey for me and getting myself more back into shape. We're not getting any younger and the older you get the harder it is to do that and I really want to stay as mobile as I can for as long as I can because in doing so I have a better quality of life and so as long as I have the willpower and as long as I can physically I need to do this for myself and for my family. So let me get back to work and finish everything up. Everything's finished. Here it is, the end result.
just remember if this is something that interests you every Saturday I'm gonna have updates and I'm also going to be sharing with you the different things that I'm going to be doing and how I'm going to progress as the weeks and months ahead remember I don't say anything about this in my other videos so if you're interested you have to stay tuned to my Saturday videos on my progress